Hello, uh, back again for the final video now. So today is Armies on Parade, and everything's finished. Everything's packed. Everything's ready to go. And yeah, I did. I did a few, a few final tweaks onto the, onto the board last night, um, just to get a few bits on that I wanted to put on. Really, um, <clears throat> I added a backdrop. Um, did a bit of weathering on a few bits. Um, had to move a few parts as well because the backdrop actually forced me to pretty much. Um, I had a few models that would overlap the back section, so I had to kind of reposition the poles, uh, the rods, just to be able to get them to stay on rock uh, properly. But yeah, so I'm optimistic. I hope I do well today. Only time will tell. Um, what I'll do is I'll get a few pictures later on today. Um, I'll show you the board in a second. Um, and yeah, I'll get some pictures when I'm there. I'll see if I can get a bit of video as well, and I'll do a a video when I get back. But I'll show you the board that I've finished now. Did a few little tweaks here and there last night, and I was watching some videos over the last couple of days on how people do the spray paint art for like moons and things. So I had a go. Um, I actually did this all in about five five minutes. Um, in the freezing cold in the dark. Um, it was quite good fun actually. I used a bowl to do the big one, but I felt it needed a bit bit more something really, just to add on to the back. Uh, just to give it a little bit more oomph. It's just nailed in the back so I can always take it off if I need to. But, no, 100% finished. I'm super happy with how it looks. Just got to change the batteries out in a minute, um, for the new ones. But, all in all, yeah, I'm super chuffed on how this is, but obviously all my models are now now all in here, rocking the old school Necron box to carry them in. And yeah, hopefully all goes well. But so I'll get some video, uh, video, some pictures today, see how it goes, see if I can talk to a few people, because um, some people can be a bit edgy. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys later on for another video. So, um... Armies on Parade is finished. It's now Sunday morning. And yeah, I entered Armies on Parade yesterday. Um, wasn't as good as I expected, to be honest. Um, there was only four four entries, including myself. No Age of Sigma models, no nothing. It wasn't really very well advertised at my local store. Um, but yeah, that's all I can say. I came away with my uh, best scenic board. So I got something for my troubles. Um, had a few issues um, with rules and stuff like that. I was told one thing, people were told something completely different. So kind of irritated me a little bit. Um, but at the end of the day, what can you do? It's not it's not my store, so it's not my rules. Um, but it, the armies that were rented were really nice. It was, um, it was a little 11 year old kid, bless him. He probably painted his first miniatures. Uh, made a little bit of little MDF board, bless him, painted brown with a little bit, of, little bit of, like little like scour on pad for bushes. I remember doing that when I was little. Um, he just had an orc stomper and ten orcs. Um, I'll get on back onto that later. Um, there was another guy who had uh, basically a board full of Forge World, Forge World knights, and they were doing like a joust. Really amazing board. Get back to that later. And there was another guy. He had about 10 or 11 Imperial Knights, all dark, like Dark Angel kind of theme. Really cool looking army. Um, you could see a lot of money had been put into it. And then obviously you had my army, which is my Necrons. Um, basically, I had a few issues um, when it had finished. I, I went to the Games Workshop people with. Um, one of them being, I got told... By the manager that you weren't allowed to enter any Forge World models. You could put them into armies on display, but you couldn't get any prizes or you couldn't get any certificates or anything because no Forge World. It turned up there, the guy who won gold and pretty much all of the certificates had Forge World, so peed me off a little bit. Um, but at the end of the day, it was a really nice army, so I can't really justify not letting him have the win. Um, the only other issue I have was public voting. 
Um, I got beaten to bronze place by the 11 year old kid. You know, he had a stomper which was like half built and 10 orcs on a, on a board. I had my Necron base which I built for two months, you know, and all these videos I've done. LEDs, crystals, full painted army on top, you know, conversions all over. And he won because his parents voted for him. Um, he had his little gang of mates with him. They all come down for the day, I think. Um, he had his parents. They were obviously like taking the kids over for the day. And people came down to the vote. Obviously, the Forge World Knights, they won first place. So everybody voted for that bloke. Really nice board, to be fair. Um, second place went to the other Imperial Knight guy. And then third place went to the 11-year-old kid. So people voted for me. But he beat me by one vote because his parents voted. Um, it wasn't like the usual way the votes were done because normally when you have competitions like that there's about 15 20 people there all entering their models and armies and they all know how to vote you know they they know what they're looking for they know looking for models composition how you've done your board what you've done to your board conversions things like that um whereas this one was literally just just random people off the street you know people that just popped in to buy a paint pot just even just got herded over ready and told to pick one um, but obviously, you know, I came with a certificate, so I'm not, I'm not too fussed. I managed to get my my entire Necron army painted, so I'm, I'm seeing that as a, as a plus side, really, because otherwise they would have just sat in a box for another four years, getting neglected, really. So I've now got a usable usable 40k army up on my shelf, so I'm really chuffed at that. Mm. Got another little pin. Um, but I think next year I'm going to probably go to somewhere bigger like Warhammer World and just duke it out with the people there. I know I'm probably going to do a lot worse at Warhammer World, um, but I think their their voting system is a lot fairer. I think they get members of the staff to all come down and vote on the ones they want. Um, plus, it made me up up my game a little bit more. Um, it was a nice day out, you know. I got I hadn't been in the competition down there for a good few months, so it was nice to pop down, say hello to a few people. I'm not salty about it, you know. This the eleven kid, eleven year old kid won. But at the end of the day, you know, he's he's going to go away and he's going to have a big smile on his face and you know, brag to his mates. Um, he's going to probably get more into the hobby and he'll turn up next year, you know. He'll do some more competitions and better himself. And I remember being like an 11-year-old kid playing Warhammer, you know. If I won that kind of thing, I would have probably shat myself with excitement. Um, but at the end of the day, that's the way the public voting goes, you know. I've won, I've won a, a finalist pin at a Golden Demon for my painting. Um, I've seen other people putting up posts like people that won Golden Demon two or three times. They've painted armies on parade and got nothing. So you know, pub that's the way the public vote works. Um, did dishearten me a little bit for a while, um, but obviously sat and thought about it for a while and just you know, that I don't really care. You know, so just a little little competition. It would have been nice to come away with a medal to put on the shelf, but at the end of the day, I've got Golden Demon next year to look forward to. So. All my focus and my attention is really going on that at the moment. Um, but, yeah, so I was quite disappointed at the turnout, really. If I would have literally turned up with a, a war cry war band on a, on a little tiny piece of wood, I could have probably taken away a gold for the Age of Sigma category, which is really bad, you know. Um, but, so I was talking to a couple of blokes there that do, do it pretty much every year, and they were saying last year there was a really big turnout. They had ran out of space, so they have to make more room for people's boards. And this year there was only four entries. It is what it is, I suppose. Um, but obviously this kind of video now concludes the whole Necron armies on parade thing. Um, I've, I personally, I've, I've had fun doing it. You know, this is my first kind of hobby vlog, as it were. Um, I've had a good time painting my Necrons. You know, I've kind of reinvigorated my love for 40k a little bit by painting them and doing them up. I knew they wouldn't get any love because people tend to see Necrons as just a paint of silver and give it a wash and that's your Necron done. But obviously I've done that highlight and I've done conversions and customised models and things. Um but yeah, so it, it pretty much is what it is. You know, I'm not I'm not salty about it at the end of the day. You know, the people that won they won by votes, you know, the people people decided who wanted to win and they decided they wanted to win. So it is what it is. Um but yeah. So I've got now I've got a fully painted Necron army. I've got a display board, so if I ever do any GTs or Throne of Skulls tournaments, I'm gonna 
always take that with me. And yeah, I think this pretty much concludes the videos. And thank you for following my little my little journey with my my Necrons. Um, I will be doing armies on parade next year. I'll probably might do it at my local store, depending on how I feel at the time. Um, I think I'm probably going to go for Adeptus Mechanicus as my next 40k army, like Skitari and things, because I do want some Imperial Knights, you know, and I want Mechanicus Knights to be precise. I won't have any Forge World Arm, I'll just do some conversions for like hand weapons and things and bits and pieces. I, I like the Dune Crawlers, so it seems to be nice. But I, I'd like to do a Mars theme, you know, do something a bit different, go out of my comfort zone a little bit. Um, but obviously, that won't be till like later 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 next year um but the next hobby vlog that i'm going to be doing is my middle earth one that i put up um a few days back so i'm going to be converting up a moranan army i'm going to be doing a display board ready for the throne of skulls next year um at warhammer world i assume they'll be putting one on because they put two on every year for middle earth um and yeah, at the moment now armies on parades out of the way it's back to back to work as usual now and just got a Slog my way through quite a few commissions. Um, yeah, well, thank you for thank you for joining me on on this trip. And yeah, I hope you enjoy, enjoy my hobby vlogs in the future. And if there's anything you guys think I can improve on, or anything you want to see in the future, then just drop a drop a comment or drop a like. You know, give me a give me a like and a share. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys, and happy hobbying.